This is James at Reedish Motorsport. This is just a follow-up video to uh, the S54 Evolve clearance time-lapse video. Uh, that video is showing the process of measuring Evolve clearances and on that video none of them were out of BMW spec. Uh, but we've got one here today which is uh, in for an inspection too, an E46 M3 and uh, we've got a couple of shims that are out of specification. So. We're just going to show you one of them, show you a quick example. Um, I'm going to be doing this handheld, so just bear with me. Just looking at the sheet, we're going to be going on the inlet cam cylinder 5 on the right hand side for one, um, which is this one here. So we've already done the measurements and they should, should match up with what I'm going to show you now. 0.20 feeler gauge goes in, 20 goes in on both sides, and then the spec is a point, well the, the top, the highest tolerance you can find on here is a 0.23, and the next gauge up is a 0.25, so if this goes in, yes it does, albeit very tight, but if it does go in it's, uh, it's showing it's out of spec, only very slightly, it's just got to borderline, but rather than leave that, we carry the shims in stock, so we replace these as we go. And the customer gets an extra couple of pounds on their bill for a shim, but uh, safe in the knowledge that their engine is going to be performing well for however many thousand miles until their next uh, next service. So what we're going to do here is just take the spring clip off. Just there. Sorry the video is a bit dark, but hopefully you'll be able to work out what's going on. Um, and then we're going to go for this one here. So we're taking the spring clip off, we're just going to move the rocker finger across to the right and then let it drop down. You see myself moving the rocker finger and let it drop down there. One second, I'll get a torch. Be able to light this up a bit better. There we go. Okay, so what I've done there is move the rocker finger from the on top of this valve spring and let that rest there. And then we're going to get the BMW special tool, which is this item here, magnetic tool. And pick the new shim out. Well, sorry, the old shim. That's the old shim. Then. I know there's nothing to see at the moment, but that's because I'm taking the shim off of the magnetic tool. One second. I'm putting it into a digital vernier gauge. Okay, so it's now held. And you see it works out at a 2.18 millimeter shim that has come out of, of there. So now we want to go up plus zero, point zero five of a mil really, so we're looking for something about a point two three, roughly around about there, and that'll take that back into the mid-centre of the tolerance range, which is a point two zero. I'm just going through my shims here. We carry some shims in stock. We've got a selection of views there, and these are some of the new ones. Um, so we can normally go as on the uh, on the fly, so to speak, as we're doing these, rather than have to wait the next day to order some. Here you go. So we've got a 2.23 now. I've picked up um, in the in the gauge. So that's a 0.05 of a mil uh, thicker than the one that we've just taken out. Again, you won't be able to see much a second because I'm just. Uh, taking this shim out of the gauge and putting it onto the magnetic tool. Okay, so we've got, got the new shim on the magnet. And I'm just going to pop that back in, which it is. And then slide the finger across, being careful not to push the shim out. And then the spring clip goes in. Now 
Now this is a two-handed job. One second. Okay, spring clips back in. I can't move the finger, so that's all contained. Now just do a final check again. So before we could get a 0.25 in there, although it was tight. So this is a 0.20 now. And that goes in. Now try the 0.25, which you can see there. And obviously this shouldn't go in but now because we've increased the gap, uh, decreased the gap. And no, that will not go in at all. But the two did. So that's how you uh, change a, a valve shim on an S54.